So for this problem, to find the vertex, focus directrex and endpoints of the latus rectum of the parabola. So from this given general equation, so first, we need to transform this equation to a standard form. So these are the four standard equations. So from this given, to rewrite this given to a standard form, so these are the steps. So first, variable with exponent 2 must stay on the left side. So since x is the variable with exponent 2, so therefore, all x must stay on the left side. So we have x squared minus 6x, then the rest transpose to the other side. So this positive 5y transpose to the other side. So this becomes negative 5y. And this positive 29 transpose to the other side. So this becomes negative 29. Then we need to do completing the square for x. So in completing the square, so just take this number. So we have 6 divide by 2, then take the square. So 6 divide by 2, this is 3 squared and 3 squared. So we have 9. Then we need to add these numbers on the left side and on the right side. So from this equation, so we have now x squared minus 6x, then plus 9. Then also on the right side, so negative 5y minus 29, then plus 9. Then we can apply now the factoring for this x squared. So to do the factoring, so we have x squared is x times x. Since the sign of the middle term is minus, so therefore, this is also minus. Then for 9, so 9 is 3 times 3. So we have now the quantity of x minus 3 to the power 2. Then on the right side, so we need to simplify. So this negative 29 plus 9, this is negative 20. Then take note that for the standard equation of parabola, so observe that variable on the right side, there is no numerical coefficient. So therefore, this number on y, we need to put this number outside. So we need to put negative 5 outside, so the remaining, so we have y. Then for this negative 20, we need to divide this number by this number we put outside. So this negative 20 divided by negative 5. So we have now negative divided by negative. So this is positive and 20 divided by 5, that's positive 4. So this is now the standard equation for this parabola. Then take note that we only need these three values. To find this vertex, focus, directrix, and endpoints of the latus rectum, so we need the value for h, the value for k, and the value for p. So take note that h, or we can find h from x, and we can find k from y. So from this standard equation, to solve for h, so since h, from x, so this is x, so therefore, this one is h, and always take the opposite sign. So since this one is negative 3, so therefore, h is positive 3. Then for k from y, so since this is y, so therefore, this is k, and take the opposite sign. So since this one is positive 4, so therefore k is negative 4. Then to solve for p, observe in the standard equation, so we have 4p, so therefore to solve for p, just divide this number by 4 and take note that p is always positive. 
So therefore, divide this number by 4. So P is equal to 5 over 4. So since we have now the three values, the H, K, and P, so we can find now this vertex focus directrix and endpoints of the lattice rectum. And first, we need to find the formulas for this unknown based from our standard equation. So observe that from this standard equation, so we have x squared. So these are the possible formulas. Then this is negative 5 or negative 4p. So therefore, this is now the formula for the standard equation. So x squared and negative 4p. So therefore, these are the formulas to find focus, equation of direct tracks, and endpoints of the lattice rectum. So to find out for vertex, so vertex in the parabola, that's h and k. Then substitute now all the values. So h is positive 3 and k is negative 4. So vertex is 3 and negative 4. Then for the focus, so this is the formula for focus. So of h comma k minus p. Then substitute now the values. So h is positive 3. Then k is negative 4. Then minus p. p is 5 over 4. Then to simplify, so we're going to use the crisscross multiplication. So this is over 1. And we have negative 4 times 4. This one is negative 16. Then 1 times negative 5. That's negative 5. Then 1 times 4. This one is positive 4. Then to simplify. So this negative 16 and negative 5. So since the same negative. So this is negative 21 over 4. So this is now the coordinate for the focus. Then for the equation of direct track, so from this formula, so we have y equals k plus p. Then substitute now the values. So k is negative 4. Then plus p is 5 over 4. Then to simplify, so using the crisscross multiplication, so this is over 1, then multiply. So this one is negative 16. Then 1 times 5, this one is positive 5. And 1 times 4, that's over 4. Then to simplify, so negative 16, positive 5. This one is negative 11 over 4. So this is now the equation of direct tracks. Then the last one, for the endpoints of the lattice rectum, so this is the formula for the endpoints of the lattice rectum. Then substitute now all the values. So we have h, h is negative 3, then plus minus 2 times p, p is 5 over 4. Then we have k, k is negative 4, then minus P, P is 5 over 4. Then to simplify, so we have this 3 plus and minus. Now take note, a whole number multiplied to a fraction. So just multiply this number to the numerator. So therefore, this becomes 2 times 5. So this one is 10, then over 4. Then for this, we're going to use the crisscross multiplication. So over 1, so we have now negative 4 times 4. This one is negative 16. And 1 times negative 5, that's negative 5. Then over this 1 times 4, so that's 4. Then this time we need to separate this plus and minus. So we have two endpoints of the lattice rectum. So we have now 3. Then plus this 10 over 4. So this one is divisible by 2. 
So therefore, this is 5 over 2. Then this negative 16 and negative 5. This one is negative 21 over 4. Then the other coordinates. So we have 3 minus. So again, this is 5 over 2. Then this one is negative 21 over 4. Then to simplify, so using the criss-cross multiplication, so this is over 1. So 3 times 2, this one is 6. Then 1 times 5, this one is 5. Then over 2. Then bring down negative 21 over 4. Then the other one, so this is 3 times 2, that's 6. And 1 times negative 5, this one is negative 5. Then over 2, then bring down negative 21 over 4. So for the final answer, so this 6 plus 5, this one is 11 over 2, then negative 21 over 4, then the other coordinate. So 6 minus 5, this is positive 1 over 2, then negative 21 over 4.